Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Jerry D Universe. Today I'm going to talk about what crystal radio is, how does it work, and how to build a crystal radio using few components. Crystal radio is a very simple radio receiver that was used in the earlier days for radio listening. It does not have much components in them and there were no amplification stages used to boost the signals that were received. This radio uses solely the power of the transmitted radio signal to produce the audible sound. The earlier detector consisted of a thin wire or metal probe that contacts a crystal detector that was placed in an enclosure or hole by a stand. The most common crystal used in these detectors were minerals such as galena, pyrite, etc. The detector was connected to a headphone through which the sound can be heard. Let us now look at the various components used for the construction of a crystal radio. The important components in a crystal radio are 1. Crystal detector. The crystal detector is the most important component in this radio. The crystal that was used as the detector here is called as galena. It detects or demodulates the radio frequency alternating current to an audio signal. Nowadays detectors such as semiconductor diodes are used for the same purpose. 2. Tuned coil and capacitor. The second important component is the tuned coil and capacitor. The coil used here is the enamel copper wire which acts as an inductor. The capacitor used is a variable capacitor that can be varied manually to adjust the capacitance for tuning. 3. Hearing mechanism. The third component is the hearing mechanism that consists of the earphone. It is used to convert weak electrical signals into sound or audio signals. The crystal detector is connected to the earphone and the detected audio is heard through the earphone. The earphone operates on the energy of the transmitted radio wave to produce sound waves or audio which can be heard through the earpiece. 4. Antenna and Ground The fourth component in a crystal radio is the antenna and the ground. The antenna helps to trap the energy of the radio waves and conveys it to the tuned coil and capacitor circuit. Good grounding is also needed for the circuit to achieve sufficient polarity and thus to function properly. Let us now construct a crystal radio circuit and see how we can build one.
this is the complete first radio circuit and uh, here you can see the the tune circuit this, this is the coil this is the coil uh, uh, that is found on a on a piece of uh, uh, electric uh, tube it's a it's a uh, electric leading tube and uh, it has been pa- connected parallelly parallelly to the variable capacitor this is uh, it is connected through a shielded wire uh, and this is connected parallel and, uh, uh, and and this is a small coupling capacitor that is connected to the uh, antenna this is the the red one that is antenna and the black one that is that is the earth uh then uh, then we have this uh this uh, detector here this is the detector diode uh which is connected uh connected to the on this tank tank the tank uh, circuit um, this detector uh, it uh, detects any uh it uh, detects any audio that is present in the uh, the in the rf that is generated inside this that has been trapped the rf that is uh, trapped inside uh, in this uh, where this parallel tank circuit uh, which is um, detected using a detector diode it's a small small signal type diode and this detected uh, signal is been uh, fed into a small speaker this is a small speaker that is connected to the the diode you can uh, you can additionally give a small filtering capacitor here yeah, there, there is a provision for a small uh, filter capacitor here that you can ground it uh, <coughs> any trace of rf that can be filtered off um, to the ground so this is this is the 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 symbol uh, crystal radio circuit mm, you can turn this around you can just vary the capacitance value here to tune the <coughs> the tank circuit uh, the tank circuit that is com- composed of uh, the coil and the capacitor the coil and the capacitor that is connected in parallel uh, the the antenna antenna is fed, fed through a small value capacitor to the uh, tank circuit it's uh, a small value capacitor uh, is uh, given to uh, to sample a small portion of the uh, the signal uh, to the tank circuit where uh, the circuit uh, can um, and this circuit traps a small amount of uh, radio frequency and uh, and uh, tunes it to that that frequency so this is how the circuit looks like but uh, currently presently the uh, there isn't any uh, audible signal because there is there is not any strong signal uh, any strong signal stations that are uh, around here 